What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be going over a quick workflow enhancement using the scratch pad. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be going over a quick workflow enhancement that I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy, especially you guys who are coming over from uh, Fruity Loops and just trying to wrap your head around working in a linear based DAW, um, something that's timeline based. But first, just want to say a couple words about Bag Up. Um, you guys really want to get a hold of this. This is five beats that I have made with the intention of placing they're not just little whack construction kits they're fully arranged tracks um if, when you purchase the product you get the midi you get the stems you get a drum kit that i that i made custom from scratch built from the ground up um and you get you get a, a template folder with um with four templates that use the arranger which is a really powerful tool and then you also get the entire session um, that you can open up in your version of Studio One version three, and you can see all my mixing decisions, how I route all my channels, um, the levels that I set my kick as opposed to my bass or, or my 808. So you can see, um, you can use that as a template to go ahead and mix your own tracks if you're having problems with how to balance your drums and things of that nature. It's a really powerful um, package, and it'll help you step up your game in all aspects of production quickly. Now, speaking of which. Um, this is something that I've been playing with uh, for for a little while now. I haven't I, I haven't done it on the channel because I don't do a lot of tutorials where I produce as you know. I usually make the beat and then come back and break down how I'm doing stuff. But I was I was working on this um, today and I was like, you know what? Uh, I've never shared this and this is this is something really powerful to my workflow. It makes it really easy to create these parts. And if you look up here. Uh, this icon right here, it brings up something that's called the scratch pad. Now, the scratch pad, um, it doesn't do anything that you can't do in the arrange window, okay? But it's a psychological thing that will... It'll either it either will or it won't. If you're coming over from FL Studio, it definitely will. Um, this is the equivalent of your patterns in FL Studio, right? So, for example, here when I open this up, I've I've already I've already built um, this this pattern that I like. I've already built this pattern that I've like. Uh, I've already built this pattern that I've like. So I've built four patterns, and what this does, for me at least is it takes the pressure off of um off of like laying out um an arrangement and then um you know because i have like i have like different post-it notes up on my desk that um you know like this is how my desk looks right so i have all these different notes going on and and what that is is that is just me writing up um different arrangements that that i use and i'll you know that way i could just go and look and be like okay I, i'm gonna use this range with this arrangement, with this arrangement and uh, sometimes um you know you can get like a like production anxiety like like holy shit dude like i can't um you know i really need to write this bridge and it's got to be a bridge and so that means the chords have got to change you know and and it, it gets kind of daunting what what this method does is it just lets you be creative so what i'll wind up doing is i'll wind up um when i when i start producing i'll i'll, I'll just make like my little my little four bar loop right All right, so that's so that's my four bar loop, um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and open open up the scratch pad, and um, the first time you open it up, it'll it'll be blank. And so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to add scratch pad, right? And then I'll take I'll just copy all this stuff, and you don't even have to hold anything down. You just drag it over the scratch pad, and it'll automatically copy. Now you'll see that it it, it pre loops for you. And if you press play, so 
So say, and and when I'm doing this, I'm not worried about, is it gonna be a bridge? Is it gonna be this part of the verse? Is, where is it gonna be in the track? I'm just looking to make a different piece. So uh, for example, I'll be like, all right, let me just uh, take out, you know, the first two hi-hats in the beginning of the bar and see what that sounds like. So I'll be like, all right, you know what? I wanna take this hi-hat out and um, and this hi-hat out. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this to this section and see what that sounds like. And then off of that, I'll say, hey, maybe I wanna do a pitch bend, you know? for uh for these hi-hats and and i find when i do this like all the you know all the different tricks um that i've learned over over the course of producing um you know just just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beats um they just come to me and it's like all right let me see what this sounds like and when you do it like this there's no pressure um if it doesn't sound good you just press Control alt z and 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 do something new And then maybe I, you know, maybe I might not want to use the sample for this part. Let's just see how that sounds. Okay, and then maybe I'll say, you know what? I want to use the sample, but maybe I just want to use certain parts of the sample. So let me chop it up at every bar and every every three beat and maybe just alternate just take it out there and there see what that does Maybe I'll say, you know what? Let me let me do this. Let me get rid of these. Okay. And then drag these over and see what that sounds like. And then maybe here. See, this is like, this is the crazy, this is like the crazy ass stuff that I think about when I'm just, I'm not even thinking, I'm just, my whole, um, my whole idea here is just to make something different from the last part. So now I'll just do this, see what this sounds like. that so i don't like that boom i just delete it and it's not there anymore so then i'll go ahead and take this part i know for i know for a song like this i want to have um you know i want to have like at least uh you know four or five different verse sections you know so i'll just i'll just go ahead and click here and go to rename scratch pad and name it verse four And then click add scratch pad and then highlight this, bring it over. And it's just, it's so nice to just be able to work, um, you know, just without the pressure of, of concentrating on like, what, what is this? What part, you know, um, d does this fit here? Because I'm going to go ahead and fit this together later. Okay, boom so I like that part 
and and it's just it, and and that's the thing like if if you work like this you just you you you, you mess with stuff and if you hear it you like it um And it's amazing because everything that you that you would do in the arranger, you do in here. So now that um, you know, now that I've got now that I've got this taken, uh, I've got quite a few different parts. Now what I can do is you know go into here and just start. Um, oops. Start dropping this in the in the arrange window. Oops, let's see here. Um, this is actually a feature I slept on uh, for quite a while because I I really um I really wasn't. It's just the way that the way that it was th that it was presented. It, it didn't connect uh, with me originally with um, with what it was for or why I would even use it. And then um, I got a question um, from somebody a while ago, like about patterns and, you know, pattern based producing and, you know, an FL studio and stuff. And then I was like, y you could do it with this. And I was like, hold up. Why didn't I never think about it? And I started messing with it. You see how easy it is to make it is to make um, cool pieces. So now I can just kind of I can just kind of go through um, this and see what sounds good next to each other. And then you know, for, and then this makes like once you once you have your parts already created, arranging is arranging is easy, cause because now it's just a matter of now it's just a matter of what part is gonna go where, as as opposed to like the the anxiety that you can get with just having to create it and that's what and that's what this method is all about it's just it's making something that can um typically be technical and typically just be intimidating um especially if you're new to production especially if you're just getting into the doll and it just turns it into something that is just so easy and so fun um and something that is uh really difficult to master just becomes really simple man so go ahead and put this into practice in your productions i promise you you're gonna have a lot of fun with it you're definitely gonna level up with your arrangements easy easy with this concrete zebra craft master productions studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one